Hey guys, Coach Tom here, talking today about how to last longer when you're on the Jiu Jitsu mats. Now, when you're lasting, this could be you're a beginner white belt and your cardio is no good. You've taken some time off, maybe you're a color belt, you've taken a couple of years off, you've gotten out of shape and you need to last longer. You may also find yourself in a high pressure position, maybe like a side control or even just a submission that's not quite locked on. And you know, the easy route is to tap. Okay, but I want to talk to you guys about flipping that paradigm on its head. Okay, and how you can actually take pride in your suffering. So most people in Jiu-Jitsu, we really try to avoid suffering, right guys? But what we can do is we can actually look at suffering as something that we want, right? So if I want to forge, say, uh, a knife, a sword, doesn't matter. The hotter temperature I can use to forge that thing, the stronger it's going to be. And that's what, when you're suffering on the mat, that's what you want to look for. So I want you to try a trick for me. Next time you're stuck under some 300 pound guy's side control, or you're just in a really tight head and arm choke and you're just, just, just holding on, I want you to take pride in that suffering. I want you to take pride in the amount of suffering you can handle. Now, the human body does not want you to do this. It wants you to tap and take the easy way out or ask for a break. I don't want you to, okay? Unless you're gonna get injured, I want you to just say five more seconds. Five more seconds of suffering. Just five more seconds. And then after that, five more seconds of suffering. Five more seconds. And you will find that those seconds when you would have tapped or you would have asked to stop the roll, those are the seconds that actually make you tough. You know, every role that I try to have, every rolling session, even if I'm only rolling with my students, I try to make sure that either through my actions or theirs, I end up in a tough position. You know, under Kezagatami, something like that, okay? And then I pride myself on being able to fight my way out. That's where I get my toughness from. So then when I'm rolling with my peers and they catch me in something or in a high pressure position and I'm gas and I'm, I just wanna quit, I'm getting ready to throw up, I take pride in saying five more seconds, okay? And you guys are gonna find you are so much tougher than you thought you were. You know the point where you thought you were gonna puke? Just keep saying five more seconds and you'll find no, you weren't gonna puke, all right? You're gonna last. So there you have it guys, how to last longer in Jiu Jitsu, get tougher, enjoy the grind, enjoy the grind. If you love that, if you love being crushed and you go, this is forging me, this is forging me into a stronger man or woman, you're going to find that the worst part of your Jiu Jitsu rolling adventures now become your favourite. So there you have it guys, we flipped the paradigm on its head there, you're going to enjoy this one, I know I do. All right, I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. Don't forget to check out our website at thegrapplingacademy.com here. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you guys next time.